This is something we've talked about a lot on the show, um, and I actually just had to go through the resentencing of the drunk driver who killed my brother-in-law, Spencer Dat, rest in peace. Spencer was a huge fan of yours, by the way, mm -hmm. which I always find is crazy that there are people who have passed on who already, he lived a few years as a Wiz Khalifa fan, which is pretty crazy. But um, he got into a car uh, May of last year, May 15th, with a drunk driver, and the guy was speeding, killed him, and two other beautiful people, young people, all teenagers. Um, and so I, when I came back from that, it was, you know, it was a really hard time for me. When I came back, one of the first things I talked about was sort of addressing artists who I admire who have lines that I felt endorse drinking and driving. Mm -hmm. And you were one of the artists I called out because on my level, uh, you have a line. What, do you remember what the line is where you say? Uh, stumbling out the car. I mean, trying Trump. to find the keys to my car. Yeah, stumbling yeah. drunk is yeah. something because I'd be going hard. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I said on the air that day, I went, Wiz, you're smarter than that. You know, you know that. I think you know as a, as hip hop fans, we are affected by the things we hear artists hear. Mm -hmm. And on a real subtle level, I felt that f kids could be like, "Damn, Wiz, you know, he he's he drinks sometimes and he still drives." Mm -hmm. And I wanted to get you a, a chance for you to address that because I know you're a smart, caring dude, and I was curious to how you, with some time to reflect on it, would feel about that line and about drinking and driving in general. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, just as far as drinking and driving, you know, I would never endorse that or try to tell anybody that that's the thing to do or that's cool. I think just sometimes with music and, and especially with rappers, we get caught up talking about our own experiences too much, you know what I'm saying? And not really thinking about, you know, what people can take from that and, and, and apply to them who haven't, you know what I'm saying, really done those things yet or made those mistakes. Because really, we talk about it in a way where it's a mistake, but it kind of sounds cool. Yeah, you, you know don't hear saying? the mistake part. Exactly. So that that you know, that's that's where where we kind of mess up and where we have to be more responsible and really let people know that, you know, sometimes when we say things it sounds fun, but really I don't drink and drive. I never really endorse anybody drinking and driving if I party or anything like that. You got to have somebody who's responsible and who cares about you and who's going to take care of you and get you to your destination. You know what I'm saying? That's most important before you do and anything. I and I would guess that in your life these days, when you have nights when you're high and drunk and hanging out, you always have someone. There's Will. There's someone yeah, around yeah. who's getting you yeah, to where absolutely. you need to get. Even back in the day, man, when I was partying and when I was going out um, before, when I was under the radar, I had people who, who could take care of me and do my thing. Even if I had a couple drinks, I wouldn't even try it. You know what I'm saying? But it's not even worth it like don't be don't be a rock star don't have fun like that that's not it yeah that's de that's definitely not it especially as prom season comes up and a lot of young kids always think they're invincible and it won't happen yeah yeah nah I mean, it happens like it, it happens really and you and you can never even control what what somebody else is going to do either you know what i'm saying so at the end of the day just make sure that you keep the odds in your favor by not doing it at all cool i appreciate that man no, i'll tell you, you it has been horrible and realizing you know and then looking back you when, when someone gets in the car with someone who's drunk they're not thinking about they're just thinking they're having fun whatever they don't think that this could lead to ruining their parents mm -hmm. lives this could ru ruining their siblings lives yeah it's definitely about way more than just having a good time man you want to be here for for a long time and you don't want to you don't want to do anything to hurt anybody else either you know what i'm saying because you might not just hurt yourself um, you might make it out and somebody else might, you know, end up in a horrible situation. So you got to think about the big the big picture. Absolutely. That was very cool, man. I appreciate that. No doubt.